Hello and welcome. Good to have you with us. Today we will discuss top 50 MCQs based on economy for the month of January. Let's start beginning with, with the first question. First question is asking consider the following statements regarding the enforcement directorate. First, directorate of enforcement being a specialized financial agency, it comes under the Department of Revenue. Ministry of Finance. Yes, first statement is current, correct. Second, ED enforces the Foreign Exchange Man Management Act, FEMA, and the Prevention of Money Laundering Act 2002 PM PMLA. And the second statement is also correct, but we have to choose the incorrect option. So, option A, none is incorrect because both statement is correctly spelled. Now, moving towards second question, mark the incorrect option. One side report or index is given, on the other side its publisher is given. First, Global Competitiveness Index is published by World Economic Forum. Yes, it is correctly matched. Second, Global Peace Index is published by Institute for Economics and Peace. Yes, second is also correctly matched. So, we have to find the incorrect option, but both is correctly matched. So, option A, none is incorrect. Now moving to next question, report on global remittances is released by option A, Asian Development Bank, option B, World Bank, option C, International Monetary Fund, option D, Swiss Bank and the correct option is option B, World Bank releases the report on global remittances. Next question, global enabling rate report is published by option A, World Economic Forum, option B, International Monetary Fund, option C. U.S. Chamber of Commerce Option D, International Food Policy Research Institute and the correct option is option A, World Economic Forum releases the Global en Enabling Trade Report. Moving to next question, consider the following statements regarding the Purchasing man Managers Index. Option A, it is an economic indicator right from the monthly survey of the private sector companies. Yes, it is correct. It is based on private sector companies. Second, if PMI is above 50, it represents contraction when compared with previous month. Second statement is incorrect because if a PMI is above 50, it represents expansion, not contraction. So, option or statement B is incorrect. We have to choose the incorrect option. So, option D only B is incorrect. Next question considers the following statements regarding the Erika nut or betel nut production. First, it is a tropical crop produced in coastal and non-coastal states of India. Yes, it is correct. Second, India is the largest producer of Erika nut across the globe as per the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations Statistics for 2017 accounting for 54. 0.7% of its world output. Second statement is also correct. So option B, both statement is correctly spelled. Next question, consider the following statements regarding the deposit insurance and credit guarantee corporation. First, it is fully owned by fully owned and governed by RBI. Second, it is a statutory body under the Deposit Insurance and Credit Guarantee Corporation Act 1961 passed by the Parliament here. Statement first and second both is correct. So option B both statement is correct. Next to the correct option regarding the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employ Employment Guarantee Scheme. Uh, first statement, it is a social security measure that aims to guarantee the right to work at least 100 days for every financial year in rural area. Second, it comes under the Ministry of Rural Development. Here, statement first and second, both is correct. So, option B is correct. Next, who introduced the term the blue economy? Option A, Dr. Gunter Pauli. Option B, Adam Smith. Option C, David Ricardo. Option D, Alfred Marshall and the correct option is option A. Dr. Gunter Pauli introduced the term blue economy through his books. Next question, the future 50 foods report was published by option A. 
World Wide Fund for Nature and WHO, WWF and NOR Option C, World Wide Fund for Nature and UNEP Option D, World Wide Fund for Nature and IUCN and the correct option is Option B. The Future 50 Foods Report is published by World Wide Fund for Nature or WWF and NOR. Next question, choose the correct option regarding the scheduled banks first. They fall under the second schedule of the Reserve Bank of India at 1934. Second banks not under this schedule are called as non scheduled banks. Here, statement first and second both is correct. So, option B is correct. Next, what, what was the objective of Pradeep Shah Committee? Option A to develop international retail business at the International Financial Services Center. Second, to decide ceiling rates under duty reimbursement scheme for exporters. Option C, formulating food policy in the long term. Next, merger of seven associate banks with State Bank of India. Here, statement or option A is correct regarding the Pradeep Shah Committee. Next, the headquarters of the International Tropical Timber Organization is located in option A. Japan, Option B, Taiwan, Option C, Thailand, Option D, South Korea. And the correct option is Option A, Japan, where the headquarter of International Tropical Timber Organization is located. Which institution or ministry publishes the India Innovation Index? Option A, Ministry of Education. Option B, Ministry of Home Affairs. Option C, Niti Aayog. Option D, Competition Commission of India. And the correct option is Option C, Niti Aayog. Abhijit Sen committee was constituted for the purpose of option A banking reform, option B formulating the food policy in the long term, option C public distribution system, option D disinvestment and the correct option is option B formulating the food policy in the long term. The Abhijit Sen committee was constituted. Next, consider the following statements regarding the Indian Institute of Banking and Finance founded in 1928 at Quartered, Mumbai. First, it comes under the Ministry of Finance imparting the professional education in the banking and finance. Second, it is the sole nation, national apex body responsible for licensing and regulation of banking profession in India. Here, statement first and second, both is correct. So, option B is correct. Which country has been the biggest exporter of crude oil over last few years? Option A, UAE. Option B, Russia. Option C, Saudi Arabia. Option D, Iraq. And the correct option is United Arab Emirates or UAE. Has been the biggest exporter of crude oil over last few years. Next, mark the correct option. South Africa. One side country is given. On the other side, stock action is given. First, South Africa is matched with the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. Second, Canada matched with the Toronto Stock Exchange. Option C, Peru with Lima Stock Exchange. So, option A matched with third. So, here option C is correct. Moving to our next question, which committee holds the genesis of Banks Board Bureau? Option A, Urjit Patel Committee. Option B, PNI Committee. Option C, PK Mohanty Committee. Option D, KV Kamath Committee. And the correct option is Option B, PNI Committee. Which country is the largest importer of crude oil across the globe? Option A, India. Option B, China. Option C, USA. Option D, Russia. And the correct option is Option B, China. Is the largest importer of crude oil across the globe so far. Choose the incorrect option with respect to the tobacco board of India. First, it comes under the jurisdiction of Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Yes, it is correct. Second, its, its headquarter is located in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. It is incorrect because its headquarter is located in Andhra Pradesh. Third, it is a statutory body at national level. Yes, it is correct. Fourth, is also correct. It facilitates the smooth functioning of a vibrant farming system, fair and remunerative prices to tobacco growers and export promotion. So, option B is incorrect.
district because its headquarters is located in Andhra Pradesh. Next, consider the following statements regarding the Food Corporation of India or FCI. First, it is a statutory body created under the FCI Act 1964 by the Parliament of India. Second, it comes under the jurisdiction of Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Here, statement first is correct, but second is incorrect because it comes under the jurisdiction of Public Ministry of Consumer Affairs and Public Distribution. So, we have to mark the incorrect option. Option B only second is incorrect. Next, which ministry has the administrative jurisdiction over National Land Monetization Corporation? Option A, Ministry of Corporate Affairs. Option B, Ministry of Finance. Option C, Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Option D, Ministry of Rural Development. And the correct option is Option B, Ministry of Finance. Next, which one of them is correct? Option for the term OBCUS. Option A, a survey of RBI. Option B, a central government security agency. Option C, Russia's rocket launch vehicle. Option D, Korea's nuclear power plant. And the correct option is Option A. The term OBCUS is a survey of RBI. Next, under which ministry is ministry, the Director General of Foreign Trade is is an attached office. Option A, Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Option B, Ministry of Finance. Option C, Ministry of Home Affairs. Option D, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And the correct option is Option A, under Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Director General of Foreign Trade is an attached office. Next, consider the following statements regarding the Monetary Policy Report. First, it is released by the Monetary Policy Committee of RBI. Second, the Governor of RBI is the ex-official chairman of MPC. Here, statement first and second both is correct. So, option A is correct. Next, which option reflects the incorrect statement for the Central Board of Direct Taxes? First, it is a statutory body under the Central Board of Revenue Act 1963. Second, it covers direct taxes including GST. Here, statement first is correct, but here statement second is incorrect because it does not cover GST because GST is an indirect taxes. So, we have to mark the incorrect option. Option D only second is incorrect. Next, consider the following statements regarding the eco way. First, it is a co banking solution of RBI which was introduced in 2012. Yes, it is correct. Second, it can be assessed either through infinite or internet. Here, statement B is also correct. So, we have to choose the incorrect option. Option A. None is incorrect because both is correct regarding the eco bear. Next, who heads the GST Council? Option A, Finance Minister. Option B, Commerce Minister. Option C, Prime Minister. Option D, Law Minister. And the correct option is Option A, Finance Minister. Which option is all correct regarding the ranking of India? First, India holds the first rank in cotton production. Here, statement first is incorrect because China is the biggest producer of cotton production. Second, India is under top five countries in production of silicon chips globally. Here, second statement is correct. So, we have to mark the correct option. So, option D only second is correct. The so, committee was constituted for option A, agricultural credit system, option B, army pay scales, option C, banking reforms, option D, public distribution system. And the correct option is option A, Agricultural Credit System, which institution releases the financial stability report twice in a year. Option A, Reserve Bank of India, Option B, State Bank of India, Option C, Niti Aayog, Option D, Finance Ministry. And the correct option is option A, Reserve Bank of India releases the financial stability report twice in a year. Next, consider the following statement. India is the world's largest leading producer of saffron. First, it is incorrect because Iran is the biggest producer of saffron. Himanshya Pradesh is the biggest producer of saffron. India, it is also incorrect because Jammu Kashmir is the 
leading producer of saffron in india so option a none is correct next under which ministry the department for promotion of industry and industrial trade comes option a the ministry of finance option b ministry of commerce and industry option c ministry of agriculture option d ministry of home affairs and the correct option is option b dp iit comes under the ministry of commerce and industry next which one of them is not a direct tax option a corporate tax option b income tax option c gst option d capital gains tax and the correct option is option c gst is a indirect tax next consider the following statements regarding the agricultural and processed food products export development authority first it is a statutory body established by the government of india yes it is correct second it comes under the ministry of commerce and industry yes it is also correct so option b both statement is correct next which of the following statement is correct for the best taxes intermediate option a it serves as one of the main global oil benchmark option b it is a warship of usa option c it is a bonds of usa government option d intelligence agency of usa and the correct option is option a best taxes intermediate serves as one of the main global oil benchmarks next which one of them is not under the ministry of commerce and industry option a spice board of india option b t board of india option c national dairy development board option d tobacco board of india and the correct option is option c national dairy development board does not come under the ministry of commerce and industry next which option does define the counter cyclic capital buffer correctly option a capital to be kept by a bank to meet business cycle related risks option b capital maintained by central government as per constitutional mandate option c capital maintained by private companies as per companies act 2013 and the correct option is option a capital to be kept by a bank to meet business cycle related risks moving to our next question Which one of the given committee was constituted for the liberalisation of railways by allowing the entry of private operators to provide services? Option A, Vivek Devarai Committee. Option B, Bhuta Committee. Option C, Baba Kalyani Committee. Option D, Ashok Dalwai Committee. And the correct option is option A, Vivek Devarai Committee. Which ministry publishes the wholesale price index? option a ministry of commerce and industry option b ministry of finance option c ministry of education option d ministry of home affairs and the correct option is option a ministry of commerce and industry publishes the wholesale price index next to the correct option mexico is the biggest producer of silver in the world yes first statement is correct second india is the biggest producer of bauxite in world second statement is incorrect because India is not the biggest producer of bauxite but Australia and China is the biggest producer of bauxite in world so we have to choose the correct option option C only first is correct next 43 what is the regulatory sandbox first usually refers to the live testing of new products or services in controlled manner to foster innovation in financial services option b production of spices in controlled manner option c bonds and securities of central government option d dam reconstructing projects and the correct option is option a regulatory sandbox is a usually refers to live testing of new products or services in controlled manner to foster innovation in financial services next bureau of indian standards is a statutory body or constitutional body or executive body or neither executive or nor statutory body and the correct option is option a bureau of indian standards is a statutory body next question consider the following statements regarding the office of development commissioner for handicrafts first the office of 
Development Commissioner for Handicraft. Handicraft is the national agency which works for the develop, development, promotion and export of Indian handicrafts. Yes, first statement is correct. Second, it comes under the administrative control of Ministry of Textiles. Yes, second statement is correct, but we have to choose the incorrect option. Option A. None is incorrect because both statement is correct. Next, choose the correct option regarding the palm oil. First, Indonesia is the biggest producer of palm oil across the globe. Second, it is an edible vegetable oil derived from the mes mesocarp, a reddish pulp of the fruit of the oil palms. Here, statement first and second, both is correct. So, option B is correct regarding the palm oil. Next, which one of them is the Largest producer of tobacco option A India option B China option C Indonesia option D Japan and the correct option is option B China is the largest producer of the tobacco. Next consider the following statements regarding the Balmer, Lowry and Company Limited. First, it is government owned oil and gas explorer. Producer company which comes under the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas. Yes, it is correct. Second, it was set up in 1867 in Kolkata with its headquarters. Yes, second is also correct. So, option B, both statement is correct regarding the Balmer, Lowry and Company Limited. Choose the correct option with reference to the Financial Intelligence Unit India. First, it was set up in November 2000 and reports directly to the Economic Intelligence Council headed by the Finance Minister. Yes, it is correct. Second, it is an organization under the Department of Revenue Finance Minister Ministry which collects the financial intelligence regarding the offenses under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act 2002. Second statement is also correct regarding the Financial Intelligence Unit India. So, option D, all is correct. Which one of them is the largest bauxite producing state in the country? Option A, Karnataka. Option B, Odisha. Option C, Jharkhand. Option D, Bihar. And the correct option is B. Odisha is the largest bauxite producing state. Which ministry had established the National Productivity Council in 1958? Option A, Ministry of Finance. Option B, Ministry of Rural Development. Option C, Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Option D, Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate. And the correct option is Option C, Ministry of Commerce and Industry has established the National Productivity Council in 1958. Next, consider the following statements regarding the Foreign Contribution Act 2010. First, the Act regulates the acceptance and utilization of foreign contribution or foreign hospitality by certain individuals or associations associations or companies. First, it is correct. Second, it comes under the direct control of Ministry of Foreign Affairs. It is incorrect because it comes under the Ministry of Home Affairs. So, here statement second is incorrect. So, option C only first is correct because FCRA comes under the Ministry of Home Affairs. Thanks to all viewers and subscribers for last mile approach YouTube channel. Please like, share, subscribe and support our initiative.